Hi, in this final video in our series on how to uh, give remote access to our DVR from a smartphone, uh, we are going to configure the IQ CMS um, app that we've downloaded onto our phone to allow us to access directly onto the IQ CCTV 960H DVR range, okay? So what we have on the screen in front of us here, we have the actual app. So think about the two steps that have come before this. The first thing is to set up port forwarding on our router to give external access into the DVR. And the second thing is to do is to download the app onto our phone. And then this third step here, we use this app to allow us to come along and directly uh, link into um, the DVR. So when we come in here, there's no DVR set up in this. We could obviously have a range of DVRs from the one app here. But what we'll do is we'll come along and we'll tap here and I'll just go back and I just want to change the name here. So we want to give it a meaningful name. So we're doing this from the video room. So I'll just call this DVR video. Oops. D I D. I will just call it vid just so you get the idea. In terms of the login type, we're going to do it via IP or domain name. Uh, but what you can actually do is um, you can have a dynamic one here, but that's a lot of hassle. Going with static IP addresses is exactly the way to do it. When it comes to entering in the address here, what we would do in reality is we would come along and we would give the static IP address that's been given to you by Aircom or whoever your um, uh, provider is, um, and it's allocated to your particular router, okay? What I'm gonna do in this particular example is I'm gonna use just uh, the LAN address that we've allocated over to the, um, the, the router or to the DVR. And the reason I'm doing that is I don't want to expose my um, static IP address because it's something that you want to keep private um, because you know it, it, it's an important from a, secure, uh, a web security issue. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, but the process itself is exactly the same. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna come in, I'm gonna type in um, the, uh, the LAN IP, uh, the LAN address here. So it's just 192.168. Um, uh, and then the final part here, the 200, represents the number we've actually allocated for the DVR. Say that that's specifically what we're talking to here. When we come along here, we're actually going to use the, car, uh, the client port rather than the actual mobile port for the access here. That's simply how it's done in this um, uh, app and DVR. And what we can do here is both the, the admin password is, is put in for the username and there's no password actually necessary to enter on this. So we actually come along and save this. And what I can do here is we can just come along and we can say, right, I just want to look at channel one here. And it'll bring it up and now we're actually uh, via the app on our phone, we're accessing the DVR, which is actually on the same table here, believe it or not, and, and aiming directly over just at the set-top box that we um, tell. So you can see here, it's a pretty straightforward process. So there's three steps that I outlined earlier on to it. Uh, and, you know, if you follow these guides, use the apps, all the rest of it, it should be pretty straightforwardly. I've explained a little thing about using our uh, LAN IP there rather than our external static IP. But if you follow, um, if you just do that for your Pacific one, uh, it'll work perfectly for you. So that's it, anyway, an overview of how to configure your IQ CMS um, app on your smartphone.